Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be painting the Mandalorian with the child as it was requested by my brother and my little nephew so I thought I would give this a go and challenge myself to see how I could paint those two characters. I've really been enjoying watching the Mandalorian. I think it's been a really good season so far so I've been really looking forward to getting this painting started and just having some fun with some acrylic paints. If you are new to my channel my name is Gemma and I create weekly art content so make sure you subscribe so you never miss any of my uploads. Okay so let's get started with this painting. I've roughly sketched out my design of the Mandalorian and also the child and I'm now just darkening up all of the lines so that I can see them really clearly whilst I'm painting. And the first thing that I'm actually going to paint is the background and I'm going to create sort of a sunset using a blending technique. So I'm just mixing some yellow ochres and lemon yellow to create this sort of warm toned background which I'll refine a little bit further on in the painting as well because I want to get onto the helmet of the Mandalorian. For the Mandalorian helmet I'm going to start with quite watered down acrylic paints. I'm going to use them a little bit more like a watercolour paint because I find that it's quite nice to build up on my different tones whilst I'm using this technique and especially for this section because the helmet is really a high shine area I think that this will be the most efficient way to paint this helmet in. And I'm using a mixture of those warm tones with those cool tones of the helmet because there's a lot of reflection from that sunset. So one side looks very warm toned and the other side of the helmet is rather cool toned. And I'm just placing in all of the different tonal values to make it look more realistic with the highlights and also those darker tones. I'm now going to add in the darkest parts of the helmet, so the centre part of the helmet and also the visor where the Mandalorian would be able to actually see out. So I'm using just my black with this but I do water it down with my water just so that it's not a really really dark thick black and then I'm using that same watered down paint to then go around any details to really define some of those areas because I really want this to stand out on the helmet. Okay now on to baby Yoda. I'm going to be using some of my greens and I've mixed those with my yellow ochre to give them a warmer yellow tone. I've also mixed in a darker green to get in some of those darker tones because there was quite a lot of shadow cast on his face along with some highlights so I really do have to work quite a bit to get the baby Yoda to look accurate. I think that the child is actually my favourite character out of everybody in The Mandalorian because he's just so funny and I just love how he also wants to eat absolutely everything. Now I'm going to start working on the eyes and to work on those eyes I had to use a darker brown and also add some flecks of white and black in there to make them look reflective but I am actually going to work on those again a little bit later on in the painting just to make them look even more realistic. Now to start building up the paint on the body for the Mandalorian and also Baby Yoda. So I'm going to be painting this sort of blanket for the child and I'm going to eventually add some sort of stippling effect on there to make it look like a textured blanket because it's kind of like a Sherpa style coat I suppose. So I'm just adding in lots of different tonal values to that and then stippling it in. There are lots of different elements to the Mandalorian's costume so on his body armour there's some smooth areas and then there's also a lot of draping fabric so I'm going to be trying to replicate that draping fabric by mixing up my darker and lighter tones and then making it look like there are folds in that fabric and again I will refine this in further detail later on in my painting 
so make sure you keep watching to see how I achieve that. For the body armour I'm going to be focusing on blending out my paints quite a bit so making sure that I have my darker tones and then my lighter tones and then making that look as smooth as possible. I'm going to be using a nice big paintbrush for this and then I'm going to blend directly onto my paper all of those different round tones together. This is a way that I like to paint sometimes just to get those basic blocked in colours before I can then paint over the top and get extra details in that. And then once I have created that smooth look I can then add extra details to make it look a little bit more weathered where he may have been shot at or you know there might be areas that aren't as perfect as smooth armour. I'm now going to work on some more of the folded fabrics and I'm going to get in those dark tones and then those highlights to make it look like there's a lot of movement within that fabric and I have really been enjoying trying to paint these fabrics and if you've watched some of my other videos you will know that I am trying to improve my photorealism so I think that this is a good challenge for me to get the painting in there to look as realistic as possible. If you haven't watched any of my other videos at the end of this one make sure you go and check out some of my others and if you are enjoying my video today make sure you subscribe so you never miss any of my future uploads. My colour palette has been fairly limited for this painting, so I have for the main part of the Mandalorian only used a handful of colours, so mainly just using yellow ochre and lemon yellow, using ultramarine blue and then I have also used a burnt umber and a burnt sienna on the main part of the body. I will put a full description of all of the different colours that I have used for this piece in the description box below if you are interested in learning about the different paints that I actually use for this painting. I'm now going to be defining some more of the body armour because when I was looking at all of the different reference images of the Mandalorian, I could see that there were some really interesting 3D forms to the body armour that I really wanted to make sure that I captured in my painting. And now I'm also going to define the sleeves of the Mandalorian. And again, this is an area which is obviously fabric and I wanted to make sure that I could capture those folds in the fabric and I am really really enjoying trying to get those folds look as accurate as possible. It's something that I will work on further because I just really enjoyed it. I'm now going to start adding in some further details on the Mandalorian's armour because there were quite a few details within that which were weathered, shot at or reflective as well. And I'm going to get those few details in with a little bit of paint and then I'm going to use my colouring pencils as well to get in some further details. So I'm going to get in the details of the child's facial features, so really darkening those up and then I'm also going to work on the Mandalorian's body again with the colouring pencils just to really define some of the areas and make them look as realistic as possible because I feel like I can get a really good depth of colour and also precision with my colouring pencils. It's a good way to get those final details in in the paint. So there you have it, that was my Mandalorian painting and I am so so pleased with the end result and I think that my brother and my nephew are absolutely going to love this painting. So yeah, I'm so pleased with the end result. I feel like my acrylic painting is getting better each time that I use acrylic paints. For this painting I didn't have a canvas which obviously would have made this so much better if I did have a canvas. Next time I will purchase one. I went to purchase one the other day but the shop that I went to which was still open during lockdown was so busy that I just didn't bother going in because you know it wasn't essential you know considering I've just worked on paper I think it actually looks quite good and I'm really really pleased with the end results let me know in the comments what characters you would like to see me paint next I've got lots of videos planned upcoming for Christmas and lots of holiday events so make sure you are subscribed for those ones if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up also leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know what you thought of my final painting and make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any of my future videos thank you so so much for watching i will see you next week bye guys